Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm making a video today on my Dumeril's monitor. Got the gloves on. He is, he actually had dirt in his eye and he couldn't blink it out. So I put him in some warm water in a little tub right here. And he's been blinking it. He got it all out. Now he's staring at me like, I'm going to kill you. You put me in water. <laughs> um, anyway, as you can see, I have a ferret on my shirt. Um, if you, well, on my sweatshirt. Uh, you can get a regular shirt or a sweatshirt, any color you want. Go on Facebook and go to Ferret World. Uh, a girl named Stephanie, I think, sells these from somewhere. It says you cannot, it says you can't buy happiness, but you can buy a ferret, and they're pretty much the same. So, if you guys want a shirt like this, if you like ferrets, I actually own a ferret. She's in, I think, about, I have her in maybe like three or four videos, like one of my some of my first videos, my older videos, I think. Yeah, she's in my videos when I had a tegu. Anyway, so if you want something like this, just go on uh, Facebook and order yourself one. They're not that expensive. You can get a shirt or a sweatshirt, any color you want. I have this black sweatshirt, and then I have a royal blue uh, regular shirt for him. Um, so anyway, um, one second. Hey, how the close the door is getting kind of chilly. Uh, anyway, so Greenhorn Project, the guy who has that YouTube channel for Greenhorn Project, you inspired me to get my own Doom Rolls monitor. I love watching your videos. Uh, thank you for answering in my comments. Uh, go check his channel out, real cool channel. He has Doom Rolls and Aki monitors, I think, or Spiny Tail monitors, I think that's what other people call them. Um... So, yeah, I think he got all the dirt out of his eyes. Um, I'm going to get him, and for those of you who have, who have not seen his cage, I'm going to show you his cage, and maybe you can give me some tips on how to set it up a little better, because it's not that great of a setup. I'm a little new to doing those monitors. I've had Savannah monitors, and I've had Tegu lizards. Doom rolls are kind of new. I might be getting an Argus. I doubt it. I'm not used to bigger monitors. But, uh, so, yeah, uh, give me a second, I will see if he wants out of this little blue tub with water in it, because he seems to be enjoying himself. So, yeah, give me one second. Okay, so here he is. This is my numerals. Um, his name is Achilles. I'm trying to get southern. Oh, I don't. He doesn't bite. I wear the gloves because of his claws. For those of you who've seen my videos, you've heard me say that probably way too much. He's he likes to. He doesn't like to be held. I mean, he does. He loves being out. But he likes to be on your shoulder. Which, once you get him on there, it's hard to get him off. So I'd rather not have him on there. Um, real nice monitor. Doesn't bite. Long tail. Which is common with uh, Dumerals and other species of roughneck monitors. Uh, which Dumerals are related to. Um, they're very closely related to roughnecks. Look at this. He just really chubby cheeks. Real cheap buddy. Um, what are you doing? You crazy. I know you went down. Hold on. Um, he's a little, uh, he could use some work with being, uh, with holding still. He likes to run around, but he does like getting out. Unfortunately, since it is winter and we have about a foot and a half of snow here in Ohio, we can't exactly, uh, take him outside. So this summer, I will be building him maybe like a small pen outside with a swimming pool and everything so he can go in that because they are semi-aquatic. Uh, the difference between them and rock neck monitors, um, I know you're rubbing your head. Okay. 
Uh, the difference between Doomerals and Roughneck monitors, um, they're, they both like to climb and dig and swim, but um, Doomerals monitors are more aquatic than Roughneck monitors. They will stay, they can spend weeks in the water. See, this is this what I'm talking about. I can't get them off. Okay. They'll spend weeks in the water. They can hold their breath up to 75 minutes, and their nostrils actually seal themselves shut. I'm guessing he's just going to hang out there. Okay, then. Um, I forgot to mention this, but I have some bad news. Ragnarok, the one of my baby, one of my baby snappy turtles. I have two. Um, unfortunately, I took him to the vet because he was acting kind of weird, and he did have some kind of disease that you can't you can't treat it. I don't know what it was called, but he he did pass away, and so now it's just the little one I call Tazin. She's in there all by herself in a big 55 gallon tank. So maybe if I get a baby Argus, I will put him in that and put her in something else after I clean it, of course. Um, come here, you booger. If you want down that bad, you're going to have to listen better. Nope. Nope. <sighs> okay, he's crazy. Um, oh, okay. Well, anyway. There's his cute little face, and he doesn't like being in the camera. Um, I'm going to... Okay, I get it. I'm going to sit him down in this cage and show you guys that. And uh, so give me just one second. His cage is actually literally right next to me. It's a 40-gallon. Uh, he's got a pretty big water dish, and he is semi-aquatic. That's why he's got the flat tail. But it's also long for climbing. So he can do both of those, but he, he likes digging. He really likes to dig. And so I gotta get him a new kind of dirt because this dirt gets in his eyes and then I have to help him wash it out. So I'm getting the Eco Earth bricks because they stay moist and this and doesn't they don't dry up as easy. Whereas this one dries up real quick. is. Uh, yeah, there. That's him. Uh, his water dish is filled with dirt because he throws it in there, gets all wet and climbs out, and then climbs right back in and gets it all dirty. I will actually be cleaning that in a minute. If you guys saw that little bit of movement, there is actually, I don't, I can't, I'm not very good with filming this way with my phone. Um, there's actually a crayfish in here. Uh, I'll show you around the room a little bit like this. Big snapper. I'll show you him. He's right there. This is uh, this is Lucifer, my big snapper. Um, crested gecko and leopard gecko. Baby musk turtle. Kazin, my baby snapper. Redhead slider, soft shell, and map turtle is over there. I need to fill their tank up a little deeper. And then my Doomerals monitor, of course. And then upstairs is my ferret and my insane dog. So, yeah. Crazy. Um, guess I could try and set something up so you guys can see this a little better. I'm going to pause this, and I will be right back. All right, guys, there you go. Um, so that's his tank. Uh water dish him yeah so I'm going to try to get this a little closer I'm just kind of working with what I got here I'm videotaping with my phone and I have this phone stacked up on a bunch of boxes held by a duct tape roll so don't judge me um he's he's eyeing the camera he does that uh, where is my glove? And apparently there's water on the floor. 
That's nice. Um, now, for those of you who, for those of you guys that don't know, a lot of monitors, yeah, they're from the desert and the plains and stuff like that, and forests, stuff like that. Doom World's monitors are tropical monitors. So they, I'm gonna go over here real fast. So Doom World's monitors from the tropical monitors, they like to have moist dirt, as you can see, this is dry. Dry, dry, freaking dry. So I got the wrong kind of dirt, and I will be getting him a fogger, probably, to keep this nice and steamy and... Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, sorry, there's a closet behind me, which is hurting my back very bad. There we go. Okay. So... Okay, so this is what I use right now is this bag of Eco Earth, which sucks. I mean, it's good. It's good bedding. It's great bedding. I can't use it for him, unfortunately, because it does not stay moist. So I have to get him a different kind. Um, this hammock. This is so he can get closer to the light if he wants, if he's a little chilly or something and wants to get closer. This is his, like, um, I don't know if you call it a basking area. The hammock is more of his basking area, but so is this piece of wood because he gets really warm. Um, but he also hides under here and then digs around in this dirt. Then he's got a big water dish over there that he can actually swim in and a plant and then his UVB, UVA bulb, whatever you want to call it. And then he does have a night bulb, a night lamp that's over there. I have it taken off right now. So this is a, I haven't been able to get this tag. Oh, wow, look at that. Well, I feel better about that now. Uh, <laughs> I got the tag off. So this was a uh, 40 gallon, this is a 40 gallon breeder. Every now and then, if he gets too dry, I spray him down a bit. Same with my crusty gecko. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. He is eating buddy. All right, well, I wanted to show you guys that. So that was my Doom Rose monitor, Achilles. I'll be making more videos on this. Don't forget to. Sorry, my hair's bugging me. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely comment on a way to keep this dirt nice and moist so i might not have to buy any more but if i do gotta buy some that's fine but if you have a way to keep this dry crap moist that'd be great thanks so comment on that like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye